adult movie about Welsh independence services on loan, critically acclaimed mockumentary gets a US and London showing, and Doctor Who back in Panath for series two. <laughs> Doctor Who, his TARDIS and new companion were seen back in Panath this week as the show returned to its popular Vale of Glamorgan location. Although it seems this episode is not going to be the third, yes, the whole third story set in Wales in the 19 years it has been produced here. The spelling of the word donut suggests this time Wales will double for the United States. When quizzed as to whether the show, which can travel anywhere in time and space, has not focused on any Welsh stories or themes in the 19 years that it has been produced here, showrunner Russell T Davis allegedly said this. Wind your neck in, love. The BBC's only just got round to showing gays, but they're still pretty wary of taffs. Plus, Disney believe that Wales is a village in Devon. Producers' newfound love of representation, it seems, only goes so far. Next, a Welsh mockumentary made in a man's garden and Kazi is due for a spectacular release in the USA and England. After, say, Nation Cymru taking audiences by storm. The Martin Decker show is a critically acclaimed comedy with a £600 budget, making it the second most expensive film in Wales this year, and focuses on a middle-aged failure who tries to start a successful Welsh YouTube channel. What a saddo. The whole project began as a labour of love for Kieran Self, the actor and star, and Kevin Jones, the director, who has edited such Welsh movies as Asun and Eglev. We've been very lucky, said Kevin, the director, that cinemas and art centres have shown a genuine interest in the project, and we've had some interesting discussions about men's mental health after the screenings too, because we know we all need more of that, don't we? Film Hub Wales say this. YouTube and TikTok may seem like a young person's medium, but not for 50-something Martin Decker. He's embarked on a brand new career as an internet superstar, but despite his claims to have the full support of his family, his life falls apart. He is now the subject of a film that is part found footage documentary and part surreal tragedy comedy. Keep your eyes peeled for a review on this channel, where, of course, Martin's exploits are not familiar at all. Finally, Welsh nationalists were cock a hoop this week when a 15 year old adult movie focusing on welsh independence resurfaced online x user die linked here somehow discovered the x-rated content i'm sure totally innocently and has yet to confirm just how he pulled it off the movie called independence day stars roger small ben dover and welsh star stacy saran as a lady called emma but who petitions for Welsh independence at Westminster while selling her energy drink, Leakazaid. And the profound symbolism does not climax here. The plot, despite its many holes, now sits in a missionary position in the whole canon of Welsh fictional entertainment, being the only feature film focusing on the independence of Wales since 1922's The Last King of Wales, directed by George Ridgewell, which was also coincidentally unearthed in 2010 after disappearing in the dirty 30s. It is now hoped that this devolution-themed classic will sit alongside other independence-themed classics, such as Glory, Whole Lot of Soul, and Porn on the 4th of July. Architect of devolution, Mr. Ron Davis, when quizzed recently, refused to confirm as to whether any badges had been harmed during the making of the movie. To see a full review of Independence Day, don't forget to whack off the like button. If not, you can become a massive member here or click my bell for instant notifications. That's all for 5 Minute Media on Wales of the Movies. Remember, whenever anything interesting comes happens, we'll be right here. Deal from Vabr. Ta-da.